this midterm, we have data on contracts given by the Department of Health and Human Services. The data is in contracts FY20. Uh, it comes from uh, USA uh, spending. We have information on when the contract was uh, given, the dollar value, the description of the product, uh, recipient name, city, and state, and whether or not uh, the business that got the contract was woman owned. So that's a yes or no variable. Let's load that data in. We're going to insert a code chunk. Let's actually uh, make it so that uh, when we knit it, uh, the messages uh, are false and not displayed so that it, uh, the knitted document is uh, nice and clean. And the warnings are also not uh, displayed. Let's uh, load our libraries. So we're definitely going to need a uh, tidyverse. And uh, we'll probably need a uh, stargazer. So let's uh, do it here, stargazer. And uh, we'll see if we need anything else. We'll uh, get it uh, as we need it. So this data, let's call it contracts and uh, we'll read uh, underscore CSV and the data is contracts, oops, we need to put it in quotes, <clears throat> contracts dot, okay, contracts underscore FY20 dot CSV. There's uh, 25,000 contracts, nine variables, uh, each contract has a unique uh, key, description, value, value is a number, that's good, date is a date, that's good, name, city, state, all our characters, uh, everything looks uh, fine. What is the average value of a contract? So we could definitely run a stargazer or we could just quickly do a summary on uh, contracts, uh, dollar sign and uh, value. We see that uh, the average value of a contract is uh, 1.2 million. Uh, the minimum contract is about $100. Maximum contract is, that looks like uh, 1 billion. Certainly, uh, I'm curious about this. So let's take a look. Uh, what is that uh, big uh, contract? Hamilton Medical for medical and surgical instruments. Oh, look, the second biggest contract is given to Moderna. Interesting. All right. What else uh, do we need to do? Uh, compare size of contracts given to women-owned businesses versus non-women-owned businesses. So here, we'll probably run a Stargazer on uh, two different sets one uh, on contracts given to women-owned businesses and the other one uh, given to non-women-owned businesses. So let's do stargazer. We'll use, uh, it has to be as data, as data frame, but it's gonna be um, filter contracts. And a woman owned business uh, has to equal yes, and it's a lowercase yes. And uh, we want uh, the type to be text. Um, and let's see what that works. All right, so that gives us. Uh, 3,500 3, uh, contracts and uh, it doesn't give us median so let's actually add a median uh, so median uh, true uh, so we can see uh, what the median is uh, about 55,000 is the median value of a contract uh, given to a woman owned business let's see what it looks like uh, for non-women-owned businesses. Uh, it's uh, the median 
is about is lower, uh, 35,000, but the mean is actually much uh, higher. Uh, the mean is uh, 1.3 million. Clearly, there are some very large contracts given to non-woman-owned uh, businesses. Overall, we could see the split. Uh, the, the, the vast majority of contracts are given to non-women-owned businesses. We could, of course, uh, do this um, another way. We could uh, run a uh, t-test. Sure, let's uh, do that. Uh, t-test. We want to look at uh, value and uh, differentiate by woman-owned uh, uh, business. Um, okay, I'm sorry, let's do it. Uh, contract contracts dollar sign, and again, contracts dollar sign, and uh, the uh, the statistic is. Six, uh, so it's this statistically significant difference uh, on average. Uh, the mean in the non women owned businesses is uh, 1.3 million. Uh, in uh, the yes group, in the women owned businesses, the average is uh, 451,000. Uh, so there's a statistically significant difference in the means. Uh, but of course, the distribution is extremely skewed, uh, looking at uh, those minimum and maximum and the difference between the median and, uh, uh, and the mean. Uh, we could also do GG plot and uh, contracts uh, AS. Uh, X, we could plot the uh, value and color. Uh, we can do woman owned uh, business uh, and plot the uh, density. So essentially, we want to plot densities. What's the distribution of uh, contracts given to women owned businesses uh, versus uh, the distribution of uh, the value of uh, contracts for non women owned uh, businesses? And uh, let's uh, see what that looks like. Again, that uh, shows us how skewed those distributions are. The vast majority of contracts are very, very small. And there's a bunch of uh, really, really big uh, contracts, particularly for. Well, uh, including uh, the women-owned uh, businesses. So this is not uh, particularly informative, informative beyond the fact that uh, the distribution is skewed. So overall, uh, the answer is on average, yes. Uh, uh, women-owned businesses have a smaller uh, contract, but uh, in terms of the median, in terms of uh, so the typical uh, contract, the women-owned businesses actually get the slightly higher uh, valued uh, contracts. The median for women-owned businesses is um, 55,000, whereas for non-women-owned businesses is uh, 37,000. Okay, let's keep going. Uh, create a table showing the top five contracts. Uh, include uh, information on dollar value of the contract, recipient name, product, and service description. So in this case, um, we don't need to summarize because uh, each uh, row in the data is a contract. We just need to filter. We just need to sort it by value, uh, select uh, certain columns and limit it to the top five contracts. So let's do that. Uh, contracts <clears throat> and uh, oops, contracts. And uh, we will uh, uh, arrange, arrange by in descending order by value, and uh, we should also select. Uh, what are we going to select? So let's select a value of the contract uh, recipient name, and then a uh, product uh, serv or service description, and. Uh, and uh, let's uh, feed that to head where n equals uh, five uh, so that we only see the top five 
contracts. Hamilton Medical, Moderna, Merck, uh, Philips, North America. Fantastic. Create a time plot of uh, total contract values uh, by date. So by date. So we want to know uh, what, were, what was the value of uh, contracts on each date. Uh, we have a one year worth of data. Uh, there's a 25,000 uh, contracts given. So uh, each date probably had uh, seen many, many contracts uh, given out. So in this case, we do need to summarize the data. We need to summarize the data by date. So let's create a new data frame by date. And uh, it's going to start with the uh, contract. We will group by date, it's a lowercase date. Uh, we will summarize and uh, we'll just look at the value and some uh, value. So here in this case, we're gonna shrink the data set. Um, uh, it should be 288 uh, observations. So I guess we don't have a full, uh, year's, uh, full year worth of data. Um, and uh, we have 288 days. Uh, let's uh, plot that uh, with the date being on the X and the value uh, being on the Y axis. So GG plot uh, using by date data frame, AES function, the aesthetics function, X is a date, Y is value and uh, the shape. We want the uh, geom, how about geom line? Let's run that and uh, let's take a look. Uh, what do we see? Oh, uh, so this is, so this data starts in October, 2019. That's uh, the beginning of a uh, fiscal year, this government fiscal year. And then uh, we go all the way to like, uh, I think August uh, is when this data ends. Uh, what do we see? Well, we see that the value of contracts uh, jumped quite a bit uh, around March and April of uh, 2020. Hmm, I wonder what happened in March of uh, 2020. All right, I'll, I'll let you uh, fill that in. Uh, the other thing that we see here is uh, this periodic, periodicity. Uh, there's a sort of just keeps going up and down in uh, these uh, fixed uh, intervals. That must be a week of the day effect. There's probably not very many contracts given out on the weekend, Saturday and Sunday. Um, we could certainly do this, uh, run, uh, summarize the data again by a uh, day of the week, but uh, I'll leave that out of uh, this video. Create a table showing uh, the names of top five recipient names by dollar value of all of their contracts. For each recipient, show the total value and the number of uh, contracts. Okay, so this, uh, let's take a look at what the, we're talking about when they say recipient name. I think what they mean is that uh, there are companies that receive more than one contract. Uh, 10x genomics, they received lots of uh, different contracts. And I want to summarize this data by recipient. So uh, let's do by uh, recipient. Uh, it starts with a uh, con contract. And uh, we'll group uh, by recipient name. And in this case, we need to shrink the data. We'll uh, summarize and we want the value to be sum of value. And we want uh, the number of uh, contracts to be just uh, the number of rows uh, for each recipient because each row is a contract. And we want uh, the top five. So, um, well, let's uh, let's first uh, take a look at the whole thing uh, by recipient. Okay, so there's uh, 5,900 uh, different recipients and uh, the top recipient in terms of uh, value is uh, Merck, then Hamilton Medical and Moderna. Uh, Moderna, we've heard of them uh, and Pfizer, of course. Um, so uh, let's 
show that uh, table with just the top uh, five uh, recipients. So we'll do head of uh, by uh, recipient and equals five. Uh, all right, perfect. Oh, we gotta sort it. Uh, so let's uh, add uh, a range in descending order by value. Perfect. So now let's see if that will work. All right, fantastic. Mark Hamilton Medical Moderna Pfizer. States info uh, contains information on the population in US states. Uh, using this data, as well as the 2020 contracts uh, data, find out which three states had the highest value of contracts per person. So in the contracts data, we have uh, the location of the firm that received the contract, uh, but we don't have a state population. Now, the state population is in the uh, state's uh, data. I think it's a state info. Yeah, state info. So let's load uh, that in. I'm going to call it uh, state data. Sure. Uh, read underscore CSV state underscore info dot CSV. Let's take a look. We have 52 observations, uh, three variables. Um, Population, median income, I don't think we're going to need that. Uh, it's 52. There's probably a territory. Oh, there's Puerto Rico. Uh, let's uh, keep going. Uh, if we want to know, if we want to take that population data, I'm going to then join it uh, with the uh, contracts data. Let's actually uh, summarize the contracts data and calculate uh, what is the value of each contract of the value of um, contracts in each state. So let's do by state. And by state, we'll start with contracts. And we will group uh, by recipient uh, state name. Fantastic. And we will summarize and again calculate value. Um, and uh, let's see if uh, that works. Uh, so by state, now we have uh, 54 observations and uh, two variables. Um, there's District of Columbia. Oh, there's like Northern Mariana Islands here. So there's more states here than we have in the state data. Um, we're going to calculate the uh, value of contracts per person only for states or territories for which we have information in uh, both uh, data sets. So we'll use a uh, inner join and uh, and then uh, calculate uh, value of contracts per person. So let's call this uh, by state two by state merged, but uh, we'll do inner join by state, oops, uh, by state and state. I should have called it like state info uh, so that it's more informative. And the by variable is, well, it looks like the in uh, by state, the column that has a state information is a recipient state name but in the state data the column is called name so we could certainly rename uh, those uh, columns or we could specify that uh, in the first data set uh, the by variable is named uh, recipient state uh, name and uh, in the right data set it's just called a uh, name let's also worry a little bit about uh, how the state names are specified uh, this looks pretty clean because uh, in both uh, data sets uh, the state names are in all in caps uh, so alabama is going to match alabama both of them in all caps if one of them uh, had just a uh, first letter in capitals we would have a problem 
in this case, uh, we don't. So let's see if uh, this uh, joins just fine. So now we have 52 observations. So clearly uh, for every state that we had in the state info data set, uh, we have some uh, contracts. And we have uh, four variables, uh, which state had the biggest uh, contract value, Virginia, Maryland, New Jersey. Uh, there's the population next to them. There's New York with its uh, almost 20 million people. Uh, let's take, let's calculate the, uh, uh, oops, let's calculate the value per person. So mutate is value PP. It's going to be value divided by population. It looks like population is really in the number of people. It's not in thousands or millions. Uh, uh, value is in uh, dollars. Uh, so this is going to be truly you know, the number of dollars uh, per person that the uh, Department of uh, Health and Human Services gave to companies in different states. And let's sort it as well. Uh, so let's arrange in descending order by value PP. And uh, oh, so we could certainly run that. And let's do head off by state two and n equals, uh, what did we say, how many? three highest states. So uh, District of Columbia, uh, they got uh, $1,120 per person in contracts. That's not surprising. Maryland, Virginia, all these states uh, around the capital. Um, excellent. Uh, in which states, in which three states is the share of contracts given to women-owned businesses the highest? Hmm. So this question, that's a little more challenging. So how do we, what do we need to know? So it looks like uh, we can't just have uh, the total value of contracts or the number of uh, contracts uh, in each state. We also need to know that within each state, how many contracts are given to women-owned businesses versus non-women-owned businesses. So let's summarize that contracts data by state and type. Uh, whereby we'll take contracts and uh, we will group by recipient uh, state name and by woman owned business. And uh, we will summarize by those uh, groups. Let's calculate value sum of value, let's calculate the number of uh, contracts, which is just going to be a uh, number of uh, rows. And let's uh, take a look by state and type. We have 104. It's not surprising because for each state, we should have really two values, contracts to women-owned businesses and non-women-owned businesses in Alabama. Uh, 122 contracts uh, given to non-women-owned businesses, six uh, to women or women-owned uh, businesses. Um, if we want to calculate share, uh, we certainly want to know what is uh, six divided by 128, because 128 is the total number of contracts given to Alabama. Uh, so let's create a new column here that would give us uh, the total number of contracts. So we're going to group uh, this data set again, uh, group it by recipient uh, state name. And uh, this time we don't want to shrink uh, the data set. We're going to just uh, create a new column, which is going to be total uh, value, which is going to be sum of value and value. All right. And let's also calculate the number. How about this total number of contracts, uh, which is going to be sum, sum of a number of uh, contracts. Yes. Let's uh, run that. 
we didn't change uh, the number of uh, observations. We still have 104, but we have these two additional columns, which are the same uh, within each state. Uh, Alabama, they had 128 contracts. Uh, so now we can just take these rows uh, where uh, we're looking at the number of uh, contracts to women-owned businesses or number of the value of contracts given to women-owned businesses and dividing it by the total value or total uh, number of uh, contracts. So let's uh, do that. Uh, let's do that uh, here. We'll just add uh I actually let's uh, add a column uh, right here to this mutate function. We can do it right there. So we'll say share and value is just um, oops. Oh, come on. is a uh, value divided by total uh, value and a share in contracts. The number of contracts is going to be. Uh, number of uh, contracts, uh, uh, the contracts divided by the total uh, number of contracts. Well, I call it to no contracts, but that's okay. Oh, oh let, you know, let me fix it. Tot and tot. Fantastic. And let's filter uh, because we want to look at the uh, woman on businesses equals uh, yes. Uh, so we'll just shrink it down to all the states that had given at least some contracts to women-owned businesses. And uh, so we're back to uh, only 50 uh, observations. Uh, here's Alabama uh, with six contracts to women out of uh, 128, which is uh, no less than 5%. Uh, and we also have the same number in terms of uh, value. In terms of value, it's only 1%. One, uh, Fantastic. Uh, so we could certainly uh, sort this. Oh, we see Arkansas. That's the 70% uh, of contracts were given to uh, women owned businesses. So we can uh, definitely arrange in descending order by share value and uh, we'll run that and we'll do head of that uh, by state and type and equals Three, fantastic. Arkansas, South Dakota, and Arizona. With 70% uh, of contracts given to women in Arkansas, you know, drops very quickly uh, to 10% in Arizona. Okay, uh, in which three states uh, is the share of the value of contracts awarded to women owned businesses the highest? So we can. Uh, Let's do uh, by state and type, and uh, let's uh, arrange it arrange, uh, in descending order by share of value. Pipe that into head and equals three. And it's uh, again uh, Arkansas. Um, Arkansas, South Dakota, and uh, Arizona. Uh, so it's the same uh, set of states. Is it the same set of states? Yeah, Arkansas, South Dakota, Arizona. Um, yeah, when they have the same number of, uh, they have the highest uh, share of contracts. Also in terms of value, uh, those are the top three uh, states. 46% uh, Arkansas, South Dakota, 42, 29. Okay, fantastic. So this is it. This is the exam. Of course, we need to knit uh, this uh, document. Uh, so let's do that. Either HTML or a PDF. And um, we will check uh, that uh, the document uh, looks uh, pretty good. Uh, of course, uh, I'd want you to type in uh, some of the answers. Here, I just narrated uh, the answers, but uh, this look document looks uh, pretty good. Uh, it's probably uh, 
four or five pages. Uh, I, don't want to, I don't want a very large doc, so I want it to be nice and uh, clean. Um, certainly, I encourage you to look at uh, the answers uh, that are uh, typed up, uh, which uh, you can find on uh, Nexus. Uh, here they are in uh, PDF. And, um, and that's it.